Emergency roads are wet and clear of snow this morning, but many roads can still get you stuck. KXLY Force Chairston Ramsing is live in Airway Heights at the National Weather Service. How's it going out there? Well, good morning. It is 29 degrees outside, 18 mile an hour winds out in Airway Heights. Definitely a lot of weather going on in and around the inland northwest. Thankfully, though, we are inside in the National Weather Service forecasting area, and we're here with Matt. And Matt, what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm making what we call a surface analysis. Uh, every hour, we get observations from all over the country, and I'm just simply drawing in the pressure lines on these observations so that I can get a handle on what the weather's doing right now, which obviously is what we're going to need in order to figure out what the weather's going to be doing in the future. Now, looking at all of these computers, it is very high tech. It is definitely a science and, in fact, a little bit of an art. How has it been for you folks this week with all of these storms moving in? It's been very challenging, uh, but uh, this is what we live for. This is what, uh, what we've always wanted to do. And when you uh, have a challenging situation like this, it tests your skills. And sometimes, sometimes we come up a little short, but most of the time we do pretty good. And we take a lot of pride in what we do. And we try to uh, learn from our mistakes and do better the next time. And actually, we have about a 70% accuracy rate when we talk about winter storms coming. There's about a 70% chance we're going to be right and you're going to get hit. <laughs> now, speaking of when we're going to get hit, looking at this uh, computer model right here, it looks like the East Coast is getting pretty hammered here, Pennsylvania a little bit. Where is the next storm coming in our area? Our next storm will be coming off the Pacific, and uh, it looks like it'll be moving into the area on or about Sunday or so. Uh, if we look out here over the Pacific, we can see just a whole train of storms lined up all the way back almost to the far east. And uh, our next storm coming in around Sunday is in this area right here. Uh, it looks like now it might just miss us or give us a glancing blow passing to the south over Oregon. However, it's far enough out that the computer models are sometimes a little bit tricky that far <laughs> out. And if it goes just a little bit more to the north, and there's the storm right there, if it tracks a little bit more to the north, we could get another round of heavy snow here. And what has that been like for you all? Because when we were just driving out in Airway Heights, the roads are very icy. The berms are getting pretty big. What about Rambo Road? How has it been for you personally getting to work? It's been very challenging getting to work. Um, all I can say is thank God for my wife, Subaru. <laughs> Isn't that the key? So what would you like people at home to know? I know you guys are working extremely hard trying to get the most up-to-date information. What should folks at home know this morning? Uh, right now, it looks like we're still on the back edge of the storm that came through yesterday. A lot of our, our customers in northern Idaho and northeast Washington are still experiencing some significant snow. It's still a mess out there. So everybody's got to be careful, slow down, and uh, drive careful. And Things will get better. Spring is coming, but we're probably going to have to go through another at least few weeks of this. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Matt. We really appreciate the hard work you and the folks here at the National Weather Service do. And coming up in about a half an hour, we're going to go outside and show you what the conditions are like exactly with those winds and those icy roads. Kalai and Matt and Mike, back to you.